Good afternoon, War Eagles. I'm Garrett. And I'm Thomas Waldron. And this is your Wii TV News Show for Friday, November 3rd. Here's some important announcements. Just a reminder, Daylight Savings is on Sunday. Fall back. We get an extra hour of sleep. Any girl interested in participating in softball conditioning must see Coach Landers during Astro Hour next week. He's in room 508 in the math department. Our yearbook staff is collecting new unwrapped toys. They will be assisting to hand out toys at the annual Toys for Kids event on December 13th in Melbourne. This is a toy drive to help families right here in Brevard County. If you would like to make a donation, please drop it off in room 131 or Ms. Shivel's office. Thank you for your donations. Buddies Club is meeting on November 14th, all of Astro Hour in room 419. Please bring your lunch and we will watch a movie together. Bring your friends too. The AHS Chamber Choir will be performing the National Anthem for the Orlando Magic this Sunday at 6 p.m. Good luck, War Eagles. Our varsity football team will be playing tonight the big game. We take on Tysville Terriers here at home, and we are on the hunt for the Hudson. That's the trophy that, for those who don't know. Today is camo day, and please wear your cam your camo to the game. See, look, I got mine. Plan to come out and cheer on your War Eagles as they pound the pups on Friday. Which is today. G Ann's Kids Food Pantry is available to all students. Please see Miss Quinn or Miss Muldowney in the Media Center if you need this type of assistance. The PERT math test will be given on November 16th at 9 a.m. Any students that has taken Algebra 1 but not passed Algebra 1 EOC should take this test. See your guidance counselor or Miss Muldowney for information. PERT Boot Camp is available during Astro Hour in room 502. There will be a pep rally after 7th period today, so we will be on pep rally schedule. The pep rally will take place from 2.55 to 3.30. In case you need a camo shirt to wear today or tonight, Miss Redfern is selling them. They are only $10. The Grove Church is sponsoring a tailgate tonight from 4.30 to 7. The first 300 fans get an AHS foam finger. There will be free food, drinks, and giveaways. Hope to see you there. Project 7 is a Christian club. We'll be meeting on the second and fourth Wednesdays during the second half of Asher Hour. They will meet in Mr. Wallace's room, 5.50. Yearbooks are, are for sale. They are now $90, and you can purchase yours online at jostensyearbook.com or bring cash or check to room 131. Make checks to AHS. Here's a special news segment about the homecoming parade. On October 28th, Astronaut participated in its annual homecoming parade. Many of Astronaut's great clubs and organizations joined with JROTC, band, social media, cross country, football, SGA, Astronaut Seniors, and of course, Astronaut's Homecoming Court, with many more being a staple in the parade. Hi, I'm Quentin Williams. I was in the uh, parade for the cross country team, and uh, it was pretty fun. It was a fun parade. We got to throw candy to kids, and it was fun. Astronaut High School had this, you know, marvelous parade representing Ashton High School in their homecoming court. Go War Eagles! Hi, I'm Gabby O'Brien, and I was on the combined float for the senior class, astronaut student media, and the future astronaut War Eagles, and I loved it. The kids were so amazing, and they had so much school spirit, and it was so much fun. Hi, my name is Chase. Uh, I was on the homecoming court. I got right on the court, it was kind of fun going to the whole parade, waving people, and uh, just having people see like who the homecoming court was to represent Ashton High School. 
Hi, I'm Bailey Ferguson, and I helped assemble the Astronaut Pride High School float. And it was hard at first to get everything together because it felt rushed and last minute, but we actually had a great turnout. We had our Future War Eagles, our faculty kids, come out, and they were great. We had journalism help out, and just other kids who join the student section at our school and do anything to get involved with AHS. Signing off for WeTV, this is Nicholas Pacheco and Joshua Cascante. Please keep your TVs on channel 2 so that you can see the scrolling announcements. Thanks for watching and have a marvelous day. And now for a bathroom special. As I was walking down the street one day, a man came. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Whoa. I've got to go to the bathroom. I got to find a bathroom that's not locked. Oh, finally, a bathroom that's not locked. <laughs> no, no, not again. I gotta find a bathroom that's not locked. <sighs> Legend has it, so there's only one more bathroom that's unlocked. I'm gonna find it. Oh, I feel like I've been searching for days. If only I could find the, the bathroom that's on la. Right, I think I found it. Oh my gosh, it's unlocked. <laughs> Finally, able to find an unlocked bathroom. The moral of the story here is, there's a lot of locked bathrooms in this school. But when you have to do number one, and you have to do number two, you gotta find an unlocked one. It may take a journey upon many journeys, or a hike upon many hikes. But really, you gotta find the locked bathrooms right here. And down in the depths of the sea, on the ones right below us. <laughs>